بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين ثم الصلاة والسلام على سيدنا محمد وآله الطاهرين Dear and respected brothers and sisters, welcome to the first episode of Islamic Beliefs. In this first session, we are going to briefly explain the first and the most important principle of Islam, Tawheed, oneness of God. But before explaining the meaning and the definition of this first principle of Islam, let me very briefly explain a very important logical relationship or a kind of causal relationship between these principles. I mean, why is Tawheed the first principle and Adala is the second and Nabuwa is the third, Imama is the fourth and Qiyama is the fifth? Is there any logic behind it? Yes, of course. Tawheed means there is only one God. And this one God must be just and fair. So, there is God, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and Allah is fair and just. That is why He sent us the prophets, after the prophets, the imams, to inform us of the divine rules and of the Day of Judgment. So, without informing us of the Day of Judgment or the Divine Rules, how can Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala judge us on the Day of Judgment? So first you have to inform the people of the rules, then based on those informations that you provided for the people, you can judge them. So, that is why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is fair and just, based on his justice and fairness, he sent us the prophets and the imams because he loves us and he informs us of the divine rules and the day of judgment. So that's why there is a kind of logical relationship between them that Tawheed must be one, Adala must be the second, Nabuwa must be the third, Imama the fourth, and Qiyama the fifth. That will be inshallah explained one, one by one in the coming sessions. Let's see what does Tawheed mean. Tawheed means that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is one. So oneness of God, Tawheed it comes from Wahda, Wahid. Yeah? In Arabic language it means one. So oneness of God means Tawheed. The other meaning of Tawheed is this, that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has no partner. And we cannot consider any partner to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala needs nothing. He is needless. So everything needs Him. Others, the creatures, are in need of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala because they are created by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And they are in need of God, in need of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as their creator. And the other meaning of Tawheed is this, that nothing is equal to Him in terms of power, in terms of knowledge, in terms of, for example, hayat, life, everything. So he is the only sustainer, provider, creator, and so on. And the other important point that should be mentioned here is that the word Allah has no plural or feminine form. So because he is one, yeah? Oneness of God uh, requires that it has, I mean, the word Allah has no plural and feminine form. There is no masculinity, no femininity, no other kind of uh, human kind of attributes uh, for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So these are some of the meanings of Tawheed that, we, that must be taken into consideration by a Muwahid, the person who is monotheist. But if we believe on the opposite of these things, we will become a Mushrik or a polytheist. Like what? Like for example, if someone believe in many gods, so of course he consider partners to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. In that case, he will be considered as a mushrik, as a, as a polytheist. And so there is no partnership uh, about Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. No one can even consider, imagine any partner for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is not need is not needy. So if someone believes that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is in need of other things, so then that is not God, that is not Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, that is something else. So that person put some other thing in the position of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So 
that is kind of shirk. And also, if we think that something can be parallel to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, that is also completely wrong. So if we believe something as parallel to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, then again, uh, we believe something wrong and we will not be a true Muslim and Mu'min. So that is the exact meaning of Tawheed that we explained briefly in this class. Uh, there are the meanings of Tawheed and they are the opposite of those meanings that we should stay away of these kind of wrong and false kind of beliefs. So inshallah in the next episode we are going to explain the second principle of Islam which is Adala, Divine Justice. Please stay with us in Imam Hussain online seminary. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. اللهم صلي وسلم وزد وبارك على رسول الله وآله الأطهار